in this tutorial we will learn isometric drawings let's see how to create isometric drawings so isometric drawing is suppose this cube is there so angle from uh, x axis will be 30 degree and from this axis also 30 degree and this line will be at 30 degree so all the lines parallel to it will be at 30 degree these three lines will be at 90 degree and these three lines will be at 150 degree so in this way you can create an isometric so let's see how to do that so at first you have to give snap styl command snap s is the shortcut then press enter then asking me if enter new value for snap styl so i will give one for isometric then press enter so you will have this inclined cursor then take the line give the first point now i want this line to be straight so click on ortho mode now this line is automatically coming at 150 degree 90 degree and 150 degree then here you have to give the length suppose 10 is the length press enter then go upward again length enter give the direction and length and enter now I want to go on this side so cursor is not going on this side so to change the isoplane you have to click F5 on the keyboard so press F5 so when F5 is clicked plane has been changed so here is isoplane top is there and now cursor is going on this side so using F5 you can change the plane so as you keep on pressing the F5 you can see that the planes are changing here you can also view direction size changing so you can by pressing F5 only so once you got the desired plane you have to stop then again give the direction and length then upper side I want to draw again line end point again length again F5 to change the plane and length enter to come out now in isometric offset command is not useful because offset comes straight parallel but I want to go here incline in, in 30 degree inclined so in place of offset you have to use copy command so click on copy select object enter give base point so I want to go on this side so again I will press F for you and give direction and give the distance press enter and press enter to come out so in this way you can create an offset using copy in isometric then in isometric circle is different so to create a circle you have to use axis uh, you have to use ellipse command click on the arc and click on axis end point you have to use axis end command then here you can see one option is added that is iso circle so click on that iso circle option and then specify center point for iso circle then click the center point now it is coming in the top plane so you can change the plane by pressing F5 so you can see that how it is get aligned once you got the desired location then give the radius suppose 5 is the radius so in this way this isometric circle is created suppose I want to create circle here so I will just erase this and move this so move select object enter so I want the center of this circle at this intersection suppose I want here portion like this here also I want circle on this side also so I will just copy this circle copy select object enter take this intersection point and second point will be this intersection press enter to come out then I will need to create one line here so just take line command and you have to choose the quadrant option don't go for tangent go for quadrant so you have to connect the quadrant points then press enter then unwanted portion you can trim it trim select cutting edges then press enter and click on the non desired objects and press enter so in this way this portion is created again suppose I want a circle in the center here 
so again I will say ellipse axis end then give the center point okay uh, don't give center point ellipse axis end you have to click on isocircle then give the center point and give the radius how much you want suppose I want 2.5 so in this way you can create that radius so if I don't want this center line I can erase it so in this way this object is created and to give the dimension for this object you have to use aligned option so click on aligned click on the first first point then second point and give the location so here dimension is not properly visible just take annotation dimension style modify fit and increase the scale to suppose 5 ok close so it is properly visible and you can also control the other settings modify then we don't want precision to 4 digit I want single digit again text I want it above so it will come above and I want ISO standard ok close so in this way this dimension will be properly visible then now this dimension is not coming properly it is going downward so I want it to be aligned to this line so for that you have to go to annotate click on dimensions and select this oblique option oblique then select object enter then enter oblique angle so angle of this line is 150 degree so we will just give 150 press enter so it will properly align to that line so, so again we will give some dimension using aligned suppose here I will give it press enter to repeat the dimension command we'll just take some trials again I will go for dimensions oblique then select these two dimensions so this dimension I want to be aligned with this line so you have to pay the attention to the extension line not to the dimension line so you have to align the extension line so this li angle of this line is 30 degree so we will, we will give select object press enter we will give oblique in angle as 30 enter so in this way it has been aligned properly then next uh, again for oblique select object enter then oblique angle I want it to make vertical so I will give 90 degree so in this way it has been properly dimension then for circular part I can use the multi leader then click on the end point or quadrant point then make ortho of click and give the radius what is radius for you click outside so now it is not properly visible so from here multi leader style click on the multi leader style modify leader structure specify scale increase the scale to for you ok close so it will be properly visible so if you want internal line you can create line by L enter from this point to center press enter to come out so in this way you can create a isometric drawing thanks for joining we will stop here